Alrighty, everybody, are you guys wanting to get some strong quads? Well, this workout has got it for you. Yes, we're going to do the find the grit in your quads workout today. Alfie is with me. We're going to get going straight away. Let's get rocking. I think we're ready to go. Let's get rocking. All right, everybody. So, very first exercise that we are going to do. Sorry, Alfie, you're going to sit right there. You're going to come to the top of your mat. You're going to grab hold of your heavy weight. You're going to take it back with your right leg. You're going to take it into a squat, come down, and then all the way up to the top. So that's it. So bend down and then just straighten that front leg. That's all you're going to do. Bend and straighten the front leg. All of that weight is in the front foot. Tuck those hips underneath and go down and then squeeze up. We are going to do half of the time on each side. So we've got 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. All right, so come down and then squeeze and let's take it over to the other side. So lift that chest up nice and high, come down. Alpha, you're literally about to get hit in the head with a weight. This is not what we want. And then keep both of those hips facing towards your end of your mat, okay? So don't twist your hip back and we are gonna increase our endurance here. Yes, we are. This is why this series is all about grit. I'm gonna push you just a little bit further than you've ever been before. All right, release those weights down to the ground. We're gonna take it into some skating windmills. So you're gonna come down, jump up over to the other side. Shake it out, come to the middle, give yourself a smile. You showed up. Three, two, one, let's go. Down we go. Nice little jump in the middle and take it over to the other side. I have no idea what Alfie is thinking. He has been doing these workout videos for me for, I don't know, how many years, Alfie, have we been partners in working out? Although I'm the person who does all the workouts and he is the person that basically does this. He does the sunbathing for us. All right, let's keep going. So bring those arms up in the air and twist it over just like a windmill. If you are not jumping today, guess what? There is no reason you cannot do this workout. Modified version, you're gonna step from side to side, just like that. Let's keep it going. Alpha, we got less than 10 seconds to go. Jump a little bit higher and let's breathe for three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground. We'll do a rolling squat. So we're gonna come all the way up to standing. Alfie, I am gonna have to move you just slightly. I know you don't want, you're growling and now you've paused my workout timer. And now we've got ourselves on TikTok. All right, keep going. We're gonna roll all the way down <laughs> and then we're gonna come up into a squat. So hold right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Modified version, you're gonna come down here, you're gonna lift up and you're just gonna hold right here. So bring up those legs and then hold right here. So use that momentum, use that weight to bring you all the way up and then sit down into that booty. You've got it. Breathe in and exhale. Other modified version, if you want to work more on those quads, it's just a hold right here. That's it. Take a few little pulses and then come down and then sit back up again. That's going to be your modified version. Now come all the way down to the ground and try and use it to come all the way back up again. You're looking good. 10 seconds left to go. Let's keep on pushing through. Every single exercise that we're doing right now is going to work to getting those results. Give me one more and lift all the way up to the top. All right, Alfie, you're in charge of the timer. Don't mess it up. We're gonna take this weight, bring it into our hands, and we're gonna take it into some squat pulses. So push those knees out to the side, and let's go for it. So tiny little pulses. You're gonna get as low as you can and hold onto the weight. Now, to make it a little bit easier, pop your weight down onto the ground and bring your hands to your hips right here. To make it more challenging, add that weight, make it even harder, you can add a weight on either side. So release that weight down here because we wanna get more resistance on our legs. If we're holding up here, we're taking a little bit of the pressure into our arms, we wanna get it all into those quads. So lift that chest up, give yourself a smile, and we are crushing through this, aren't we, Alfie? We're doing such a great job. Let's keep on working through. Now, can you get a little bit lower? Last 10 seconds. Push yourself. You can do it. Look at me. I'm looking straight into your eyes and telling you that you can gan. For three, two, one, and release. Okay, pop that weight down to the side for me. And you're going to come and do a bear squat. So you're going to have your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Lift up on your toes. You're going to squat down and extend. Three, two, one, let's go. So squat and then extend up. Modified version, you're gonna come all the way down onto your knees, push into your hands and lift up as much as you can and then come down to the ground. So lift up and squat down, hover those knees a couple of inches above the mat and then boom, push it up nice and high to the sky. Again, tucking those hips underneath 
and extend those hips up nice and high to the sky. Woohoo! Everybody is looking so good. Let's keep this momentum going. We know that when we finish the workout, we get results. Every single workout that you complete is tallying up. It's tallying up to get those results. So if you want to change your body, if you want to get results, all you have to do is keep on showing up and follow through. It's that simple. Lift all the way up and release down. All right, we're going to take it into a frog jump. We're going to take it up in the air this time. So we're going to jump up and we're going to come all the way down. That's it. So jump and then down. All right, shake out your legs. Take a nice breath for three, two, one. Let's go. Modified version, you're going to put your hands up and then you're going to squeeze those knees out to the side and then tuck those hips and lift all the way up to the sky. So absolutely everybody can do these workouts because we're giving you a variation. So lift that chest up, take it down to the side. And if you want to just like lift up one leg, maybe just add in one leg at a time, push those knees out, take it over to the other side. Keep jumping. If you are jumping, you need to keep on going with me. Let's go for it. Lift up a little bit higher, push those knees out to the side, and let's keep going. Those quads are on fire. Yes, they are, but that is what we asked for. All right, you've got 10 seconds left to go. Keep pushing through, keep this momentum, keep this flow, and go for three, two, and one. Woohoo! Release, shake out those legs. Okay, we're gonna take it into some walking lunges. So you're gonna grab your heavy weights. I've got eight pounds right here. And we're gonna take it into some walking lunges. Take a breath in, inhale, and exhale. You're gonna take two across your mat. You're gonna turn up to the top, and then you're gonna take two back. That's it, so walking lunges, keeping that chest lifted, and then squeeze, turn all the way around. Woohoo! Oh yes, everybody. We are feeling the burn today. Make sure that you hashtag, I can feel the burn. Are you doing the walking lunges with me, Alfie? Lovely, great work. All right, so nice big lunge. Keep that chest lifted and then squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Over halfway, let's keep pushing forward. Every single time that we show up for these workouts, we're gonna get great results. It is just a matter of time. All right, let's keep going. Lifting that chest up all the way down and take it over to the other side for three, two, and one. All right, weights down to the side. Actually, you can hold on to one of those weights for me if you wanna do the more challenging version. You're gonna lift up your leg and you can take leg circles going backwards. So lift up and take it through. Now, pop that weight on the outside of that leg and then really push down in that supporting heel. Lift up through your chest and we're gonna do 20 seconds on either side. So that's it. Lift up a little bit higher for me. Option number two, okay, is take your weight down to the ground, take it into a circle back, touch the ground, and take it into a circle back. And let's switch over to the other side. So lift that chest up, push all of the weight into the heel. Ah, you can do this. Remember, we are finding the grit today. We are finding the grit to get results. If you haven't already got a copy of my new book, you are missing out. You've already seen what the workouts can do for you. So let's see what the mindset can do for you when you get access to this book. All right, release your weight down. We're gonna take it into a wall sit rotation. So you're gonna hold, grab a wall. If you don't have a wall, basically what you can do is exactly the same. But have the wall, get a little bit lower down, and then you're gonna twist from side to side. If you've got a partner, you can use their back. Whew. So hold that weight and take it side to side. Option number two, drop that weight down and tap from side to side. Tuck your hips underneath so that we are not straining the back and all we're doing is keeping that chest lifted up nice and high, push those knees out to the side and let's take it twisting either side. Oh my goodness, yes, we're on fire with this. Keep on pushing forward. Every single rep that you do is counting towards those results. You can do it, it's gonna happen. We've got less than 10 seconds to go here, so let's keep on whoo, pushing forward and let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, weight down to the ground, whoo, and we're gonna come to the top of your mat or the back of your mat. You're gonna take it into a big jump and then you're gonna shuffle all the way back. Modified version, option number two, you're gonna take two big steps and then you're gonna walk back nice and slow and controlled. So, big jump all the way to the front, Slightly bending those knees, keep it down, and then quick shuffle all the way back. Let's go again. Nice and gentle, stay down, putting that booty back, chest is lifted, inhale and exhale, all the way through. We're looking good, everybody. 
Let's keep this momentum going. So jump forward, stay down, all the way back. And let's take it again. Forward we go. Come on, get a little bit lower in that squat. Jump a little bit further towards the end of the mat. How far can you go? Test yourself, challenge yourself. Let's go. We got 10 seconds left to go and you're gonna make it all the way through to the end. No matter what, because you are made to finish this workout. All the way for three, two, last one, and release. Oh my goodness, you guys did so great. Whew, this is a mindset game. It's all about the mindset. If you think you can, if you think you can't, you are right. So get access to my book right away. You can get all the pre-sale goodies as well. Oh, the book's called It Takes Grit, available right now for you guys. Oh, let's keep this action going. Here's the next workout for you. Guys, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bring your knees in, step out to the side and grab. So here we go. One, two, jump out to the side. Give yourself a little clap. Option number two, step back, step forward, clap.